everyone! So, welcome po again to another episode of GTV. So, thank you so much for tuning in again. I know that we have, we had very interesting topics, no, no mga previous uh, episodes natin. And today is no different, no? So, today, I'm gonna um, interview. So, this guy here is, his name is Shred Santiago. So, Shred is the president of Star Market. So, a little bit about Shred bago tayo mag sa kanya. Um, he took over management of the Star Market from his parents who started the business. It originally started as a family business. So, family business pala to, Nina Shred. And had a vision, and he had a vision to see it for its potential to be a company known nationally. So his background is in real estate sales and it introduced him to um, how a professional and large company is run. No? So today, nako, super thankful kami sa'yo, Shred. How are you doing? Hi, hi, hi. I'm doing great. I mean, all things considered, things are great, Ginger. Thanks. Yeah, so okay, para lang malaman ng mga viewers kung paano ko nakilala si Shred. So, alam mo naman tayo mga mommies, nagahanap tayo ng mga gulay, <laughs> ng mga kanin, <laughs> mga bigas. Yeah, yeah. So what I did was I searched and I I saw this um, Facebook page. It's called Palenque Please. So that's where I basically found. Uh, yun dun ako nag-order ng gulay, ng bigas, ng eggs and, and everything na kailangan ko dito sa bahay. And I was trying to find out like kung sino yung founder, no? Sino ba yung sino bang sino bang gumawa nitong app na to, no? So it's basically okay. diba, Facebook page pero you can order via the messenger mm. via messenger. Yes, yes. So that's how I met Shred, just to give you an idea. Yeah. yeah. And so, Shred, oh, yeah. for the viewers, no, you can tell us like what Star Market is and bakit ko sinabi yung palengke, please, and how does it like tie into that, uh, to tie in dun sa ginagawa mo right now. Yeah, well, th- thank you, Ginger. No, it's Star Market, it's like, ano kami, palengke kami, pretty much, no? Uh, so there's a piece of property, tapos yung develop namin, ginagawa namin palengke. It started 13 years ago when me and my mom, uh, you know, uh, me and offer Simon to take over the space at the Spara Gawin Palenque. So we thought about it. Your mom ko sabi niya, uh, siya bahala sa operations, tapos ako bahala din sa finance. Back then, I was still working, uh, I still had a corporate job. So we mulled it over, we came up with the money, tapos we started to do business. So I was doing it at 5 a.m., 4 a.m., I was going to go to Palenque. Wow. I had to find that out, then I worked that, work on that. Because <laughs> after maybe 2 or 3 hours, I you know, went to the gym and I went to the gym. And then I went directly to the corporate job. Ko. So I did yeah. that a uh, long time ago. It's not really grinding. No? Mm-hmm. Um, then, after a while, uh, that Palenque turned out to be... Turned out well, tapos may mga nag-offer ng mga ibang properties sila, gawing palengke, so we explored that also. Tapos so now, uh, you know, we have a couple of palengkes already. Uh, pero siyempre, lalim na pinagdaanan namin na yun. Um, okay, so yun. So right now, parents want to take it more easy. Mm-hmm. They they feel na the business is in good hands naman. Ako naman, siyempre, may iba naman yung plano ko. I want, I realize the, that Sa eh. uh, yeah. I think there's a there's a need for palengkes everywhere else. Kasi problema ngayon, like palengke, and dami naman talagang palengke, pero mm-hmm. iba-iba yung ano eh. Iba-iba yung, iba-iba yung look. Hindi siya parang kunwari pure gold or SM na pag pumunta ka doon, isa lang yung na-expect yung quality. Oh. expect ka na ano ganoon. So that's what I want to do. I want to be the first uh, chain palengke. So Star Market, we want to be the first chain palengke in the Philippines. So. And as for dun sa Palenque, please, that was actually a service na sinimula namin okay. nung nagkaroon ng ECQ. Kasi, of course, yung Palenque humina eh. Nawala yung mga restaurants, nawala yung mga canteens. Oo. So, I figured, gusto kong tulungan yung mga tenants ko so they could still sell. And so, that's when we started Palenque, please. Uh, so, ang nangyayari, I buy, uh, we buy goods from our, my tenants tapos dinadeliver na lang namin dun sa mga ano dun sa mga umorder sa amin. So, that in, that in turn help y- y- uh, yung sales ng mga tenants sa amin. So, I guess, you know, that, dahil ko sinabi, no? pero more or less, that's how we got started. I, I mean, it sounds simple, pero I think, yeah. parang from a business standpoint, ang dami nyo ng challenges na napagdaanan, I suppose. So, oh like, God, baka, yeah. oh, baka, like, can you share yung challenges? Kasi this is not a typical business. Like, like not no, a lot no, of no. us like will wake up in the morning and say, "Ay, tika, tayo pala ako ng palengke," di ba? Or, di ba? Para, yeah. 
it's something talaga na parang unique and kakaiba. So, maybe take us through like how you built the business. Well, you, well you're right, no? Sobrang hirap niya talaga. Kasi we started, wala naman kami alam sa, sa palengke. Um, the biggest challenges, of course, are getting tenants. Mm-hmm. So, kukuha ka ng space, gagawa ka ng, you know, mga table-table, ganyan. Pero hindi mo naman lang kung sino yung magbibenta, eh, no? So, and it's not like nasa Facebook yung mga tenants, eh, di ba? Uh-huh. So, these people, hindi mo naman alam kung sino yung gagawa. So, that was the biggest challenge, of course, looking for those tenants. And sometimes pa, when they go in, minsan isang linggo lang, aalis na rin, you know, mm-hmm. hindi sila sanay, eh. Of course, oh, Unfortunately, you know, uh, the people that are better in Palenque, you know, they're not the most, they're not naman the, the people that has the most resources, hindi naman yeah. ganun ka-educated, ganyan, wala naman masyadong connection. So we had to like, yung people na interesado, we had to, kumbaga, train them, teach them na, okay, dito ka uutang, wag masyadong malaki yung interest, dito ako kukuha ng supplier. So step by step, y- yun yung, I guess, pinakamalaking challenge. Another challenge, of course, is, uh, pagkubuko kami ng, since hindi sa amin yung property, uh, mm-hmm. usually, Although meron na rin kami, awa na just nakabili na rin kami. Pero usually mga properties namin, nagre-rent lang kami. Renta. So, ang problema, we would, you know, uh, depende sa contract namin. Kung five years five years or ten years yung contract, after na magawa na namin yung palengke, hindi na kami nare-renew. Oo. So, parang, ah, sa hassle. So, so, gagawin namin yung palengke dahil since sumatakbo na yung palengke, yeah. parang sila nare-renew. Sila nare- uh, no, so, that's... Yun yung medyo mahirap na part ng sa negosyo. Okay. That's why, yung sa akin ngayon, yung vision ko na, parang gusto kong bumili na lang. Para wala nang, para hindi na ako mag-aalala sa renewal. Pangalawa, uh, kung hindi ako makakabili, I'll just look for investors na sasama sa akin on this journey to build the palengke at hopefully it will last for a very long time. Ang galing naman. Like parang may yeah. isip ko, if you're familiar with, no, lahat, pati mga viewers natin, like mga incubator yeah. and accelerator programs for yes. startups. So parang ikaw, you're becoming like the incubator for mga tenants <laughs> ko, mga merchants. Yeah. Kasi wala silang alam sa negosyo, di ba? Alam nang wow. nila, I have the supply of rice, I have the supply of yeah, vegetables. Yeah, yeah. Pero I don't know kung paano ako mag, na, paano ko ibebenta, how to market, how to sell, how to check on quality, di ba? Correct, so, correct, correct. So, oh, sige, let's talk about like the impact that COVID or the pandemic ha- ah. had, no? On, on, like mm. the palengkes that you have. Like, when you thought about like palengke, please, what was the, like, what was the initial problem kasi that you faced? And how has it helped? If it helped? And how do you see like the palengke situation moving forward? Kasi I'm sure that we, we will still like adhere to social distancing, all of these things. No? So, like, how do you foresee the landscape? Well, uh, make no mistake. Kasi nung una, yung palengke, please, business to business, talaga siyang na service. So, before, ano siya, nag-sinicator namin yung mga restaurants, santi, santines, kaya yun yung dinideliver namin. Obviously, when ECQ happened, wala, at sarado. No? So, that whole thing, that whole market dried up. So, we had to, ano, uh, kumbaga, we had to shift. We, we had to pay what, so to speak, no? Uh, so, and pumunta kami doon sa household kagad. And I guess, swerte kami kasi isa kami sa mga nauna. So, we started boosting doon sa Facebook. And sobrang dami kagad ng order. And uh, okay. uh, of course, ngayon, we're thankful na rin. I mean, you know, marami na rin na nagbukas na ganun klase service. So, right now, kasi everyone's trying to figure out eh. I mean, it's a very, uh, as you know, Ginger, no? I mean, right now, walang negosyo na hindi tatamaan ito eh. No. So, I can't imagine no. And uh, it's a huge challenge for any business person. It's just that with the, with this one, oh, fine, no? So, medyo nauna kami. Pero, dahil it's fairly a simple you know, business, marami na rin lumalabas na, you know, uh, parang okay, kaya ko rin yan. Ano? Uh, gany- ganyan naman si mm-hmm. Pinas, you know? Uh, uh, unfortunately, pero I, I, I think it's a good thing. Kasi mm-hmm. as long as mas, uh, mas keep us on our toes, it uh, keeps us kumbaga competitive na rin. Yeah. So, that part I like. So, ang challenge is, of course, the challenge is getting the goods here. Ang advantage ko naman, we own the palengke. So, we get the prices sobrang mura. And I'm helping also the tenants. Yung mm-hmm. pinaka magiging challenge ito, I think, would be the other, of course, everyone else trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Uh, advantage ka lang siguro mas mura yung price. Ganyan. Yeah. But, mura and also, eh. actually, oh. ang mura nyo talaga. Nung, nung tinitin yeah, yeah, yeah. yung mga prices, parang, Dito na lang ako kasi sobrang 
cheaper than what I see. Correct, correct, correct. Because my main goal ko is actually just to help the tenants. Parang mm-hmm. gusto ko lang ma- ano, ma- nanibet ka sila. Of course, ma- para mapaswerte din rin yung mga tao ko and all of that. Yeah. So we try to position ourselves in that way. Para at least, you know, it started out na gusto ko lang, oh, ganap na ako na papaswerte sa mga tao. Of course, tulong sa tenants. And obviously, to maintain social distancing. Kasi while na you put traffic dun sa palengke talaga bumaba eh. Pero it's okay eh, as long as we're delivering na rin. At least we're not, we're helping, kind of helping in this, to stop the spread of the sick. So, saan yung locations ninyo, Shred? Like, where can you deliver? And saan ba yung palengkes ninyo right now? Well, yung palengke namin, so, uh, we have four in Novaliches. This is a North Caloocan. Because we're opening one in Pasig. Mm-hmm. Pero yung service na uh, palengke, uh, palengke please, so yung palengke delivery, uh, Metro Manila yan. Kung baga kung kaya ng Lala Move yan or Mr. Uh-huh. Speedy, kahit saan yan, mabili-deliver namin yan definitely. Nandun. Wow, mm-hmm. okay. So, now naman, in terms of like the physical branches that you have, did you mm-hmm. like come up with rules on how like people will purchase sa palengke or in how, uh, let's say, the merchants like handle goods or handle themselves, no? Because of all of the things happening. Yes, yes, we had to do it. Uh, no, simula, kumbaga, we were kinakapalam namin, no? so we were saying na, okay, limit na may number of entrants, kailangan maglagay tayo, namibigay ako ng mask, mga ganyan. Mm-hmm. And then, after a while, the, uh, the LGU, the local government units, they talk to us also, ito rin yung gusto nila, mga ganyan, yeah. yung parking. So we have to, uh, we worked with the local government units for the mga ganyan, no? So like yung ngayon, yung mga tenants namin, kailangan naka-face mask, no? naka-gloves, lagi. Um, we try to disinfect as much as we can uh, yeah. the, after the operation sila. So we all had to adjust, no? yun yung sinasabi ko din sila. Oh, well, that's good. That's good that you have yeah. the uh, safety of your customers, di ba? In check as well. So in terms mm. of like the future for for your company, no? how, like, how do you see it? Like how do you want to grow it still? Well, I think ngayon, in terms of the future, I'm, I'm, I know, well, I've always been an optimist, you know. I think now na, I would like to consider this, but oddly enough, no, as an opportunity. Eh. Um, I, I think any optimistic business person, you yun think lagi. Eh. So for me, uniquely, um, parang when people look around, parang nakikita nila, oh, okay, yung mga palengke yung buhay, eh. So I think now that uh, mas na-appreciate siya, kasi normal, you know, so my businessman friends, no, wala akong pakilam sa palengke. So ngayon, nakikita nila, ah, okay, ito yung negosyong buhay. Ah. Uh-oh. And ako naman, hindi naman ako ating tao. Eh. So I just want to continue with my goal. I think na what I like about the business, I'm giving jobs, I'm giving uh, businesses to people na wala masyadong you know, resources. Ganyan. So I want to continue on doing that. Uh, more palengkes, I mm-hmm. think... Deliveries then, delivery, deliveries then, is, uh, I want to grow that also. Yeah. Para, para kunwari, pag may tenant na papasok sa bago namin palengke, not only siya aasa dun sa foot traffic, typical ko rin siya ng benta dun sa delivery namin. Yeah. So I think it's still a good, uh, I, I think it's still a good uh, business. I think, uh, I think na even with this whole COVID thing, we're not spared from it. I mean, mm-hmm. we have to adjust. Pero at the same time, I'm thinking na, you know, we're lucky uh, given the, given, even pag nagkaroon ng ganitong crisis that we're still alive. So, ako, full steam ahead. I, I still Yay. want to expand. I still want to go forward with it. Sobra, I wish you all the best, no? Kasi parang ang dami talagang, ang dami kasing um, people na pwedeng mag-go into this, eh. Di ba? Like, Kasi yes. essential yes. ang food eh, di ba? Food is one thing that oh, you can never without, right? Mm. So, so, if you are like a micro-entrepreneur sa kahit sa anong location, no, we can eventually, I know you're starting with Pas, I mean, you have in Manova Liches and now with Pasig, no? So, I hope mm. that you like can build a lot more like locations in the future so that like, merchants, di ba? Merchants can go to you and say na parang, oh, sige, pwede, pwede bang magbenta sila doon as well. Hey, al- alam mo, Chacha, ang dami nga sa aming ano, eh, nag- nag-inquire. Like, these are friends na nasa corporate world na rin. Uh, you know, nagtakarutan nyo na rin sa akin. Of course, ako, sila sagot ko sila. Because, you know, like, may mga tenants ako. As in, dati nagtatrabaho lang, nagka-chop lang ng baboy, ganyan nila. Mm. Ngayon, tumikita na ng 3,000, 15,000, 18,000 per day, ah. Eh. Wow! So, as in, pero, sinasabi ko lahat sa kanila, you know, dapat di ka maate. Dapat, this is, negosyo siya. 
Oo, oh, oh, eh. So, uh, punta ka kayo sa simula, mag-arap ka ng, mag-arap ka ng mga sukay, ganyan, tapos maganda yung, maganda yung stall mo, ganyan. Makakakot, makakakot ka pa eh. So, I think, may napasa akong article the other day, that, like, agri daw is the way to bounce back from this. So, sure. Basic goods is the way to bounce back. So, me, I want to take advantage of that. And I want to provide, like, you know, the platform na for people that may want to, you know, get out of the corporate life or whatever, just to provide us some honest living for the families. Yeah. This is a solid option. And kami, madali naman kami kausap. So, hopefully it works out. Yeah, hopefully we get the word across. So, sige, for yes, my last yes, question, yes. Shred, um, what well, are your yeah. tips naman in terms of, like, give? what are your advice or tips that you can give to, like, micro and small businesses who want to enter the business scene at this point in time? Right now, uh, uh, you know, may, may, may famous quote, eh? <laughs> in every in every disaster, uh, there's an opportunity. And I think there is it right now. Um, but you have to be very careful also. Uh, maraming uncertainty, uh, uncertainties right now. Eh? Um, everyone's trying to navigate that. Uh, I, I, hopefully, they have a little bit of savings. But they all all in. Mm-hmm. And if you have a really good idea, just, just try to test it out. Um, it'll be great. Any person that's in uh, the basic service uh, industry, they have to go there. And also, you really do have to explore your money. You are going digital. Yeah. While uh, maraming, maraming brick and mortar uh, stores, you know, unfortunately, they, they, they'll be in trouble. But you have to, you don't want to totally switch. Mm-hmm. But you have to have that. Ano rin. Kailangan may dig- kailangan you have your toes into the digital world. That's pretty much all I can, I can say. You know? Just be careful. Just uh, try to use that sparingly, of course. <laughs> Pero, I, I still do think that uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of money to be made out there. There's a lot of business to be made out there that then, despite of this whole thing, you lang you know, 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 you you for the practical tips. I'm sure maraming natutu- natutunan yung viewers natin from you today. Yeah. So, that's it for another episode of GTV. Um, if you want to learn more about different topics, uh, subscribe, like, share, and click on the notification bell for more videos. Okay, thank you so much, Red, for guesting. Thank you, thank you. Thank you to all the viewers. Alright. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye.